Okay, today we have a Lorenz HDS7 on the bench today. Uh, customer complaint is, uh, looks like unit suddenly stopped working. They have power to the pins, but unit is dead. So, let's plug in power supply and give it a test. Okay, sorry about that. I had to make a new power supply connector. I lost my uh, my ground. I could only find my plus side. Must have threw it out when I was cleaning off the bench, I guess. Anyway, the new one's better. Better and safer and should work out good. Perfect. Okay. So what's customer complaining again? Uh, suddenly stopped working, power to the pins, unit dead, okay. Let's try to power this thing up. So we're getting about half an amp and off. Half an amp and off. Reminds me of the last unit. Half an amp, off, okay. Let's turn the power supply off. And let's take this thing apart. I'm going to go around and remove all the TH screws on the uh, outer edges of this unit. We're going to take the plastic nuts off all the connectors and we'll get right back with you. This one was difficult to open. Um, in fact, the sonar connector started to spin when I was taking this nut off. And I had to actually pry along the edges, use isopropyl alcohol. Try to limit the marring if possible on the sides of the unit, but what are you gonna do if it's if it's stuck, adhered like that? There's there's no way to get it off and unless you gently pry. So that's what we had to do. Let's take a look here. Well. Well, this connector is actually off. I believe that's a display, if I remember, on these units. Alright. Let's reconnect that. Hook up the power supply. And let's see where we're at. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to try the thermal camera, see if I can see any heat coming off any of these components, and we'll get back with you. Okay, I'm going to try to adjust this so you can see, hopefully. I'm going to press the power button right now. There, power button's on. See what that is right there heating up. Looks like that cap. So now we know where to look. Let's test that cap and see what's going on in that section of the board.
looks like the cap shorted. We're going to take it out of circuit and then test it again. Okay, uh, so we did test this. We got this cap out. It's a little electrolytic surface mount. And uh, let's see if we can get onto the microscope here. We're on, uh, let's see, continuity mode. All right, shorted. Okay, so this looks like a 157 microfarad, it looks like. Um, let me see here. I don't have an electrolytic surface mount in this size, so we're just not going to use a surface mount. Shouldn't make any difference here. There's plenty of room in the case. Uh, so let's see. It's 220. Well, I got 100 microfarad and 220. Let's go with that 220. Twenty twenty five volt, so overkill for this, but should work fine. Let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna temporarily solder this guy in place real quick. Just to see if it's gonna resolve our issue. Um, and if not, we'll take it from there and do more troubleshooting. Obviously, electrolytics are polarity sensitive, so you got to watch the polarity of your leads here. Again, we're just doing this super quick, temporary, throwing it in just to see if it's going to resolve our issue. So let's give it a shot, make sure we're still not shorted, which shouldn't be. Oh, we're good there. If that wasn't the primary issue, it was definitely an issue. So. on a power supply and there we go guys beautiful nice quick repair excellent excellent so that's what it was we had a shorter electrolytic capacitor in the power supply section of the board So let's kill this thing. Let's turn it off. I'm just going to kill the power supply here. We're going to properly mount this capacitor. We're going to properly mount this capacitor. Put a little hot glue there just to make sure it stays in place. And uh, we'll do a nice full test. Okay, so we mounted this capacitor. Um, in order to have, where are we? There. Well, it's hard to see with the microscope here. Let's just put it back over here. Um, in order to have enough room for the case, uh, because the case goes kind of low right here, uh, we just carefully bent over the, um, the capacitor. Okay, so let's take some... A little bit of hot glue. Just keep it in place. I mean, it shouldn't move anyway, but 
just in case. This is high temp hot glue. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to throw some captain tape on these connectors because the display was disconnected. When we opened it and we want to prevent that from happening in the future. Anything we can do for as far as preventive maintenance. Once we get these units open, we do. Uh, we do quality repairs and we want to make sure as much as we'd love to have everyone's business. We don't want customers coming back with the same units, whether it's a fault of our own or not, which obviously this wouldn't have been. But in any case, we already have an open. Why not go ahead and take a few seconds to secure these connectors properly, which should have been done at the factory, but wasn't. So now there's no chance of those coming off now. A little bit of, t little bit of captain tape, and uh, we're good to go. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on each one of these connectors. Might as well. We're already into this. Let's do it right. Perfect. And last one, backlight. Beautiful. Let's reconnect power supply. Let's let it fully boot up this time. I'll give it a good test. If you guys can see this. While this thing is booting, I'm actually going to run and grab a coffee real quick. Okay, looks like this thing booted. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to accept, and look at that, awesome, okay, we're going to fully test this unit, uh, but it looks like we're good to go. Uh, as soon as we're tested, we're going to throw it back together, um, email the customer, let them know that their unit is fixed and ready to go. Um, hopefully they're happy with the repair. Uh, if, if anybody has any electronic devices in general, we repair all electronic devices. Um, you can go to www.rudolphrepairs.com. Again, it's just not just fish finders, not just uh, Lorenz fish finders. We repair other manufacturers fish finders we also repair all electronic devices from laptops tablets cell phones um, industrial electronic boards uh, we've designed industrial uh, circuits and boards for customers in the past uh, so we're a custom shop as well um, we've done projects for customers we've built uh, jukeboxes for customers all kinds of stuff so um, so uh, don't feel that the job might be too small or too large or, or too obscure, uh, give us a try. Uh, RudolphRepairs at gmail.com, www.RudolphRepairs.com. Uh, click on the mail-in link. Until next time, guys.